Hi guys, I'm here with the tip of the week and um, the tip of the week has to do with stamping, stamping plates and um, stampers and I just have a, a couple of things to discuss with you. First of all, I, I'd like to encourage you all to try out stamping. I know there are some of you out there that have tried and it hasn't worked for you. Um, don't give up. Keep trying. It's either the polish that you're using. It might be too thin or too thick. It might dry, might dry up too quickly. And the type of stamp that you use with that particular plate. <clears throat> I have um, several stamps and I'm, I'm waiting on a, another one that I ordered but you know this one from Conad I've had this is my oldest one this one I bought about five years ago I know it looks new I always clean it I clean everything I take this out and I clean it in here if I get any nail polish it's just the way I am about these things but um so this one is firm this side is firm Oh, it has a little nail polish on there. I gotta clean that. Um, then I have this little one from what the heck? I think this one came with my Queen scraper, and this is more mushy. It's a mushier one. And this one I had gotten from Moyu a while back, and this is also mushy. Now, a lesson to be learned. Okay, this one when I put it away, I put it away. Um, and I didn't realize that it was pressing up against something and look what happened. It got a permanent indentation there and I tried to get rid of it in different ways, but it keeps coming back. So I sort of ruined it. I feel upset about that, but okay. So I got that one. I also have this one, which is firm. This is quite firm. Okay. And then I have this one, which is mushy. Okay, and because of, I have to clean this one too, because of what happened to this one, I now keep them in little containers so that um, I can protect them from getting any indentations in them like that one did. And, um, and this one I keep in here, it came with this scraper and stuff. So, anyway... So if some, one um, particular, if you're trying a plate and it's not working for you, you try to do some stamping, don't get discouraged. Try different stampers. Try um, to press really firmly. Try different things. Okay, this side is firm. This side is mushy. And um, as I said, if it doesn't work with you, with a, fir with a, a soft mushy one, then use a firmer one. Some of these I believe are like silicone. So this seems like silicone and then the this seems like rubber right here. And I know it's it's two different things. It's very similar. Okay, so those are two two things to consider. Try changing first try changing the stamp, the stamper you're using. And if if it's still not working, try using a different polish. Okay? Now, the tip that, of the week that I'm going to give you today is, okay, so you polish the nail, your nails, and you want to do some stamping, and I'm going to use, now I know for a fact that when we do stamping and um, we we look at our stamp and we have the, the, full, um, <laughs> the full impression on the stamp, and then you put it on your nail, and you have to roll when you're stamping, roll and push. Um, and it doesn't stick or only part of it sticks and you'll put your polish on and everything. You don't wanna have to remove that polish uh, with nail polish remover and start all over. When you use these foil polishes, these are very forgiving. Now, a lot of us use these um, 
lint remover stick on paper that you remove and um, and after you stamp if there's any residue of polish on the stamp you roll it off and it removes whatever is on there okay um, you can also remove the impression if you got a partial impression a messed up impression on your on your nail you can also remove it instead of taking the nail polish off completely remove it by using this okay so it's really good to have one of these and um, it's good to use them all the time with your stampers because uh, acetone is very strong and it will affect your the rubber and the silicone and your stamper will break down you know it'll start wearing down so it's good to do this to clean your stamper I mean once in a while we have to use acetone or I do just to make sure it's really clean and a lot of ladies who stamp regularly use these alright so I put this on here and I don't like it so instead of taking off the polish and starting all over and removing everything with acetone then applying polish and waiting for it to dry and see this is a messed up image see it has smudging okay so I don't want that we want perfect images when we do our stamping so what you can do is you use your roll okay your um See, there it is. And you roll that onto your lint remover. And you keep rolling until you completely remove. You completely remove that image and your polish okay so now the image the um, and I'm just gonna throw that out okay so now I I managed to remove that messed up image from the nail without having to remove the polish so that is the tip or those are the tips of the week they go hand in hand I hope you guys use these tips let me know what you think take care everyone God bless and I will talk to you on the next video bye bye